All right, so we are going to go over the mechanism of one of the most important steps in biochemical metabolism, which is the formation of what's called a shift base. And a shift base is usually a secondary or tertiary imine, which is a C double bond N, like this, and some sort of protonated system. Um, so it can either be um, neutral or protonated. In this case, it would have to have a hydrogen on it. Um, the reason this is important is because it, number one, makes the carbonyl even better a target because it's next to a inductively positive atom. Um, so that makes that this the delta positive here is much larger than it is over here. Um, makes it a tastier target for any nucleophile. Uh, also it gives you a thermodynamic benefit of being able to give a pair back to nitrogen to, to relieve the positive charge um, problem on nitrogen. So it's kind of a double a double uh, double bonus there because it makes it a good target here and it also gives you some bonus back when you break it. Uh, much more so than the C double bond O. Oxygen certainly doesn't like to be positive. So this requires a few steps where we're going to switch between uh, some sort of a carbonyl uh, and another carbonyl, the imine. So we need to first do some, uh, some swapping of our oxygen. So first thing we can do is protonate from this from this lysine that we have here. Okay, that's easy enough. Okay, that, now again, protonating this thing makes that a good tasty target. Um, oxygen does not want to be protonated here, so the equilibrium lies heavily backwards. Um, because oxygen just does not want to take in a positive charge here. But in the time when it's here, nitrogen can come in and attack and solve the charge problem in a different way. And that's going to give us a tetrahedral intermediate. And again, this guy's going to be positive. So this is the key intermediate here. Of course, that's reversible. Our amine could always pop back off. Um, but if we want to make progress, what we need to do is protonate this, uh, this uh, oxygen here, this guy, and take off hydrogens here and allow the double bond to form back. Uh, so I'll switch the page for you. So here's where we are. We got our tetrahedral intermediate. We have our NH2 lysine. Now usually in an enzyme we'll have some sort of an acid or base working on this thing. So I'm going to have an acid on this side and a base on this side. Uh, we'll talk about it, actual ones when you actually look at the aldolase mechanisms. Um, but in this case we're just going to invoke a generic base and acid. Okay. So what we can do is pull this guy. Those bond electrons are going to come down and we're going to protonate. So we just lost our water. And we formed our shift base. And our water's floating around out here. So remember, we want to keep that thing protonated if we want to use it. Um, of course, you can pull, pull this hydrogen off if we needed to. Um, but usually, we'll like to keep it like this so we get that extra energetic bonus.